Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Tai Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a toddler's granny stitch poncho. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. How is everyone doing on today? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. I am so appreciative of you all. All of my tools will be in the description box below, but I'm going to be using a 4.5 millimeter hook and some red heart yarn. I would suggest that you use baby yarn for this poncho. It's a lot easier on your little one's skin. So this is the other poncho that I made and I used a 5 millimeter hook and I have that um, stitch marker there because I was counting the stitches here to see how many I needed to make with the smaller hook. So let's go ahead and begin. So I have my yarn here. I'm going to go ahead and make a slip knot. If I have any beginners in this tutorial, welcome to my channel. And if you don't know how to make the basic stitches of crochet, I do have a absolute beginner's tutorial that shows you how to make all of the basic stitches including a slip knot and a chain. So I'm going to chain 55 chains and I'm going to show you how to make a chain to combine it without it turning. So make a few chains and remove your hook. You put your hook into the very first chain that you made and then go back into that first loop and that will allow you to make a really long chain without it twisting. So you continue on and I'll meet you when I'm done with, well, when I get close to finishing my chain here. Okay, so now I'm almost at the end with these chains and I'm going to make 55 chains. Once you've made all of your chains, just make sure nothing, everything is straight before you begin. It's not twisting or anything. Everything is perfect. So we're going to finish off. So now I have 55 chains. I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch. This is our turning chain. So when we're done, we'll have 54 chains. So now go into your next stitch with a half double crochet. You're not going to chain. You're not skipping any stitches. Just half double crochets going all the way around. I'm going to make two rows of these half double crochets. So if you want to, you can make more or less. It's completely up to you. So continue making these half double crochets all the way around. And when you're done, you should have 54 half double crochets going all the way around. And I will meet you when I'm done. Okay, so I have my two rows of half double crochets. Now I'm going to remove my hook because what you want to do is count your stitches and however many stitches it is that you make you want to cut that in half and then place your stitch marker at the halfway point so we're making an even number of stitches you divide that in half and then you put your stitch marker at that half point that beginning is your the beginning of your the beginning right here where we begin um, making our stitches is where your first is where your first um, granny stitch will be okay so now I am making three double crochets into this first stitch now you're going to skip two and then go into the next stitch with three double crochets and you're going to do this all the way around until you get to the next until you get to your stitch marker so make two three half double crochet three double crochets skip two and then make another three double crochets and do this all the way around and i will meet you at the stitch marker okay so now we are at that stitch marker i'm going to remove it now you only want to skip one stitch and go into the same space where you took out your stitch marker and make three double crochets and I'm only going to chain one here but you need to chain two and when you chain two go right back into the same stitch with another three double crochets 
once you've made your three double crochets go ahead and skip one stitch and then make three double crochets now just repeat this all the way around so after we've made these three double crochets we're going to skip two and then make another three double crochets and you want to do this all the way around so when i get to the other end well i'll meet you at the other end okay so we're now back at the beginning and instead of going into that top stitch there let me finish going across instead of going into that top stitch you're going to go underneath that stitch in between right next to that three double crochets that you started with so make your three double crochets here and chain two and then go back into the same stitch with three another three double crochets so remember when you're making this two granny square cluster you want to have three double crochets chain two and three double crochets in the same stitch now i'm going to go into the next space in between those clusters i'm not going to go into the double crochet stitches i'm going to go in between the clusters so i'm going to continue doing this all the way across and then I'll meet you back at that stitch mark or back at the place. Those two clusters of of granny of granny square clusters, and just keep going around. So I will meet you when I get back to those two granny square clusters. Okay, so now we're back at those clusters. I'm gonna take this out because I realized that I was only chaining one. So now remember, chain two, go back into the same stitch with another three double crochets, and it's called a granny square cluster. So now you just continue doing this around when you've done those two granny square clusters there, go into the next stitch, well not the next stitch, but go into the next space, which is in between those clusters and just continue making your stitches all the way around. So I'm going to make a few more rows. Remember when you get to your next cluster, it's three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So this is what we have so far. And we're just going to keep making our way down because we're working from the top up. So now I added a few more rows and um, you can pause here and add more rows and I'm going to go into changing my colors now. So I have about seven rows here, not including those two double crochet rows and I'm going to switch colors. So the best way to switch your colors is do it before you get to your cluster. When you do your last three double crochets, go ahead and pull your loop up a little bit because we're going to change our colors. This is a new way to change colors and take your hook and place it in those two loops in the front of your stitch. Now grab your yarn. Place your yarn on top of your hook and go ahead and wrap your yarn like you normally would and pull that white yarn through those two loops. Now you can remove the yellow yarn, yarn over and go right into your two granny square clusters. Make sure that you are weaving in that yarn, crocheting in that yarn. Make your three double crochets. chain two and another three double crochets into the same stitch and you just keep going i'm going to make two rows of these granny squares clusters with this white yarn um, remember when you get to your peak go ahead and make your two double crochet clusters in that same stitch and continue making your three double crochets going around so now that i have that cluster there I'm going to continue on and go in between those stitches and make my three granny square and make my granny square cluster. So that's three double crochets, skip 
two, well, don't skip two, just go right into the next space. So I'm going to continue going around and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so now we're at the end and we're going to go ahead and change out un the color back to yellow. Like I said before, pull up your loop, put your hook in those first two loops in the front, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through both those loops, pull out the white yarn and continue. So now you just take your hook and go right into that center portion and make your two granny square clusters. Remember, make three double crochets, chain two, and another three into the same stitch. And just keep repeating this. Now I'm making a shorter version, a small version. You do want to make more rows than what I'm making here, but I'm just showing you how to make the poncho and then as you go along you measure the little one try it on make sure that it's feeling properly and coming down to uh to the point where you want it to come down so i'm going to snip off that white and then go back in with my yellow so i'm going to make a few more rows because when i come back we're going to start working on the sleeves of this little girl's poncho or this toddler's poncho so i'll be right back Okay, so I'm back and I just wanted to show you that I did make another row of the white using the white. So I went ahead and switched out my color again and I think I only did one row of that white. So I changed out my colors and went in with the white and then um, continued on. So I just wanted to show you that, that you can alternate your colors as much as you want, as many times as you want. And as I said, I will be back when I get to the end so we can start those sleeves. Okay, so I'm back and now I am at the end. I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like. Um, again, this is a smaller version. I'm using a smaller hook. So it's going to be much smaller than the pink and white one. But these are your ends. And as I said, you can come a little closer. You can come down much further than this. Add a few more rows. So now I'm going to go in and we're going to go ahead and finish off. And I'm going to slip stitch into that double crochet there. I'm going to go in between the stitches, not through the double crochet. Right in between. So go ahead and make your slip stitch. Oops. I have no idea why I can't seem to be getting this. <laughs> Come on. Okay. So now finish that off. Go ahead and remove your hook and tie it off and weave in those ends. And let's go ahead and get with these sleeves. Okay. So let's go ahead and get with adding these sleeves so now you want to turn your project to the side because naturally your sleeves go on the side and we're going to count through a few stitches here you can make these sleeves as long as you want to i'm going to make them kind of short just to show you the process so what i'm doing here is i'm deciding where i want to start and finish off that sleeve my suggestion is that you put it on your little one uh, measure up under the arms and you want to give it at least an extra inch so that he, uh, she'll be able to move her arms around comfortably so this this is the beginning and right here I'm going to count through a few stitches here one two three and then I'm going to stop here and I'm going to begin right after those three granny square cluster so there's that middle and then one two three going across and after those three sections after those three clusters go ahead and put your hook in here and add your yarn so you just simply put your yarn over your hook and pull it through this is the part that goes up under the arm up under and where the armpit is so just be careful with your yarn and go ahead and chain one and now just continue with your granny square clusters so I'm sorry chain two <laughs> and then continue on so now go into the first space and make your three double crochets 
and then into the next space with another three double crochets. You're not doing any chaining in between these clusters. Just go right into the next in between the two clusters and make your three double crochets and just do this all the way around again i'm going to make it a short sleeve not going to make it too long but you make yours as long as you need to just remember that the torso portion the bottom portion should always be longer than the sleeves so i'm going to continue making my way around and i'll meet you when i get close to the end okay so now we're underneath the arm there and in this section, you're just going to put three double crochets. Make sure that you're crocheting in that extra yarn. Um, and now we're going to begin on the sleeves. So now I'm at the point where I want to make my sleeves. And now you're going to go into those double crochets from the previous row. And you're going to make six double crochets into each of those stitches. So now we're just making the ruffles around the arm. I'm sorry if I'm slightly out of the camera, but I'm just simply making six double crochets in each of these stitches going all the way around. Um, when I get to the end, I'll be back. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then in the other sleeve, I'm going to make nine double crochets just to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to continue making these double crochets. You want to make six double crochets into each of the double crochets from the previous row we're no longer going in between the stitches we're actually going into the top of these double crochets so i'm going to continue going around and then i will meet you um, on the other side so we can do the other sleeve i'll be right back okay so i went ahead and i added those nine double crochets off camera and this is what they look like just go into each of your stitch, each of your stitches with nine double crochets. And if you wanted to sort of ruffle more, you can add more double crochets. But this is what the side looks like that has the six double crochets in there. It's a lot less roughly than the nine one, but that is completely up to you how you want to do that. If you want to make your sleeves longer, you can do that. Um, this is you have free range with this. Do it how you want to do it. So now I'm going to continue on and I'm going to add the edging onto this uh, poncho. So I'll be back so we can make our edges. So I'm going to start off with a slip stitch right into that first double crochet. Go ahead and add your yarn. I'm using the yellow yarn just to give it a nice contrast, a nice edge. And you can put whatever color you want. You can use the white if you want to. So I'm going to slip stitch into here and go back into that same stitch with a single crochet. Make sure as you're going along that you are crocheting in your yarn. Or if you prefer to weave it in, you can do that as well. So I'm going to make my single crochets going all the way around, around the entire garment. When you get to this section, um, the middle section where you have your two clusters there, you want to put three double crochets into that cluster there. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to get to that point and I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so now I'm at those two granny square clusters in the middle. Go ahead and put your single crochets, three single cro crochets into this space. And just continue on with your single crochets going around. So I'm going to continue making my single crochets. And I will come back when I'm at the end. Okay, so now we've made our double crochets going all the way around. Now we're going to do the neck portion. So go right into that stitch where you made your very first uh, half double crochet. Place your hook in there and go ahead and grab your yarn and add your yarn in there. And the easiest way to do it is just put your yarn over the hook and grab it and pull it through and make a chain one. So now go back into that space with another single crochet. And don't chain one. I didn't mean to say chain one. 
and now just continue making single crochets going all the way around if you want to make two rows you can make two rows i think i made two rows i'm not quite sure but i'm just gonna continue on and just make my single crochets in each of those stitches going around and i will be back Okay, so this is what she looks like with all our edging on here. We have the single crochet edging going all the way around on those ends. It looks very nice. So just continue. If you want to make another row of single crochets, you can. And as I said earlier, make your sleeves a little longer if you want to. Make the bodice portion, the front and the back, long as long as you want to. You have free range with this pattern here. So I want to thank you for watching my tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tai Hammy crochet and come back for a, another tutorial have a awesome awesome day bye bye